Hello everyone, and today the UEFA Euro 2024 match tags are here. This is the first time the tops have got rights to the Euro um, collection. And yeah, they managed to send us over some really cool bits. I'll leave a link in the description down to the website if you want to get some of these for yourself. But remember, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. Massive shout out to Tops for sending these out. I'll be doing Mega Tins and the Starter Pack on the channel as well, so stick around for that. Let's get right, right into this. We've got three different tins. We've got Raw Talents, Signing Stars, and Super Strikers. You get 31 cards, three of which being limited editions, and they are a tenner each. Um, so yeah, let's hopefully get something good. I don't know if you can get any... Um, relics any signatures etc i haven't done the starter pack yet uh, this is literally the first thing i'm opening it's the first look outside of obviously seeing them on the website um so i'm assuming yeah, yeah as always you get three cards in the packet by itself and then you've got the base cards again literally my first look um at the collection in person let's have a look what we get all right we've got Sefri for Albania. Let's have a look at the card itself. So we've got the position, the field, we've got um, the numbers, so they're not doing 1 to 200, 1 to 300, they're doing by the team, and then the um, the number itself. So Albania, we've got Albania 14, we've got defence attack. Um, this number means first edition release. I believe that's what it meant in the past. Uh, the transfer value is 3.5 mil, and we've got the badge itself. Uh, we've got France. Uh, Lukeba. Now I know some tops haven't got the rights to some of these uh, badges, for example, Kiesa, so of course Italian, but it's just a white plain shirt. But again, it's not a big thing because the cards themselves, same with England, uh, the cards themselves look really cool. Um, and I'm glad the tops finally got it because Panini don't do uh, these collections justice because designs are always boring, they're, they're always the same. Um, they're basically not special enough for such a big thing as Euros, like what we got here. We've got the Graduate Gem, so these are like new... Ooh, Signature Style Dennis Burkamp Legend Card. That is awesome. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Literally, first packet in. I don't know how rare these are. I'll have to double-check, but... Class of 92, 96 and noughties. So, that is awesome because <laughs> the design on this is perfect. We've got Centurion, and that's players over 100 appearances. We've got Pepe, who's still playing, surprisingly. We've got De Bruyne, captain. Hero, with that polka dot design. We've got Modric, um, captain. Golden goal scorer, Patrick Schick. We've got Hero, Van Gartlinger. And golden goal scorer, Griezmann. To finish off, we've got Spinozola, which is the crystal variant, which is carrying over from the standard match tax collection which is nice because I actually quite like it. You literally get a parallel collection to your normal collection. And now we've got the three of the special raw talent cards with the code as well, which I'll be giving away. There you go. And we've got Doku, Kolomani and Kerkez. So these are all going to be the same um, in all the red tins. Of course, the blue ones have the blue ones and the green tins have the green ones. But basically, as, as, soon, as long as you buy one tin, you don't have to keep buying them because everything you need is going to be in that one, one tin so first up um wasn't too bad we've got the burkham signature style which is quite nice nice design Ooh, okay new relic centurion cards okay so you can get sp uh, special stuff they're the uh, metallic relic cards that's not bad okay let's move on to the next one what are the odds on them actually? Let's have a look. Does it say? I can't see where it says, maybe it doesn't. Probably 1 in 30, as always. Alright. This is the blue tin. This is Signing Stars. So, oh, sorry, Shining Stars. Guessing players that stand out for the team. And we're getting a die cut in here. Um, first look at the die cuts. Making a comeback. You can tell straight away because it's different. Um, shaped is different. Sized is different. Thickness. 
and it stands out in the package straight away. For Germany, Kelm Styles, a very English non Hungarian name. And we've got Bruno Fernandes, Impact, um, Finesse, and Power. So it's working a little bit different. No defense or attack. Unfortunately, it's not numbered, but it's still a really cool card to get. Um, I like the different die cards, I think they're quite cool. We've got Ultimate Donnarumma. I think the first time we've had him. For Xavi Simons, we've got a signature style Robin Van Persie. So we've got two Dutch signature styles in back to back tins. And it's turned over a different way, which is quite nice. Oliver Kahn, hero. And it's cool because you get the legend heroes and you get the standard heroes as well. Like Josco Guardiol. Suchek, we've got Centurion Tadic with a hundred well hundred caps full stop and we've got Nathan Ake. And that was Nathan Ake blue crystal variant. Alright, shining stars. Let's get three shining stars in here. Okay, let's see what we get. There's the code. Vardiol, Liao, and Pedri. These are the blue variants. So I've always covered the blue tints. And finally, we've got the green tin, which is Super Strikers. And it's, the name speaks for itself. These are Super Strikers. Let's go have a look. I'll, I'll be happy with another die cut. I don't know if they got Chrome previews in these ones. Let's see. Goetze, Fiola, Fires. So it seems like England, Germany, Italy haven't got the kits France. We've got Ronaldo, Captain. We've got Makuku, Graduated Gem, the Bast. Oh, that's nice. We've got a purple variant. It's numbered. It's a different variant now. I know there's the green and the blue one. Is the purple one a rarer variant? I don't know. Is there three collections running parallel? That's quite cool. I really like the design of these, actually. Look at that. We've got another Ronaldo. Lobotka, Stanitsu, David Alaba. Okay, there's no signature styles, there's no die cuts. There's no 100 clubs, so let's see if we get anything special on this one. No way, we're getting a gold Centurion card. I just realised there's three packets in here. That is awesome, I can, I can actually see it. I thought it was a bit thicker, and then I realised what it is. Let's go. That is so good. Congratulations, you've just received a Relic card, and that it being Lukaku. That is insane. 100 plus appearances, milestone awards, with that golden shine to it. That is amazing. Wow. Okay, that is awesome. That is my favourite card so far. And I was just about to say, we didn't get any die cards, we didn't get any signature styles, it's been quite, quite dead tin. No, we got Romelu Lukaku, a Centurion Relic card. That's really nice. So finally, we got Vlahovic. Lukaku again and Morata in the green Super Strikers team. But yeah, of course, um, Romel Lukaku metal card being the best of the best, the best pool we've got. So let's have a look at the three tins. And of course, let's have a look at the relic. But yeah, guys, what a fantastic way to finish the video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Well, now that's going to be it. See you in the next one and goodbye.